But right now, what do you say? Courtney is out in Hamburg back at Butera's Craft Beer and Craft Pizza with additional information on a medical condition they hope to share with the public. Hey everybody, welcome back to Butera's Craft Beer and Craft Pizza in the village of Hamburg. Now throughout the past year, we have had the privilege of introducing you to our good friend owner, Jimmy Butera. And you may notice that Jimmy wears special glasses. Well, there's a reason behind this unique eyewear and this morning, Jimmy's going to tell us all about it. Good morning, Jimmy, good to see you again. Good morning, Courtney, good to see you as always. We always love a visit to Butera's Craft Beer and Craft Pizza, but our viewers, some of your customers, they've questioned your sunglasses that you wear, but they're not sunglasses indoors, they're something else. Exactly, they are uh, prescription glasses. They are to correct a syndrome I've ha I have, which is called Erlen syndrome. And it's really not an eye problem, it's more of a brain problem that affects your eyesight. Um, you know, I've been diagnosed recently and you know, it's a hereditary disease, so our syndrome. So what really got me interested was my son has it. And you know, I figured if he had it, maybe I, I would have that same trait. You know, what it affects is reading and depth perception and you know, brightness coming in. So there's a lot of things that I, I've suffered with my whole life that I've just kind of ignored and overcome and over depth. So when, when Melissa introduced us to early syndrome, I, uh, I was intrigued and I, I, I'm glad because it's changed who I am and, and made life a little easier for me. Jimmy, when did you realize that something just wasn't right? Well, my whole life since since I was a kid, I, uh, I had been diagnosed with ADHD, um, dyslexia, uh, which is all symptoms. It wasn't wasn't until I saw the same things going on with my son Bryce and the school come, came back and said that he, he doesn't have those same issues. Um, we sought out another answer. Melissa, we would love to introduce you to the show this morning. Melissa is the early diagnostician um, and she's joining us today. Now, Melissa, talk to us about this syndrome. What does a person encounter from day to day? Sure, Erlen syndrome is um, a sensory modulation disorder. So it's a problem with how the brain interprets visual information. Um, it's not an optical problem, even though treatment is worn as filters, um, filters worn as glasses. Um, so basically, every time your eyes are open, your brain is flooded with light. And there's certain people who can't process certain wavelengths of light. And it comes across as visual distortions when reading, light sensitivity, um, physical symptoms such as headache, fatigue, nausea, um, dizziness. So by filtering out the wavelengths of light that are offensive to that individual's brain, you can essentially normalize the brain and then reading can, can become efficient. Melissa, I think it's key to know that this disorder is treatable. Absolutely. So any parent who's questioning whether their child may have dyslexia or ADHD or, you know, it's been told that maybe they have that or maybe they've been diagnosed with it should be tested for Erlen syndrome because you can eliminate some of those symptoms or even all of those symptoms of those other um, disorders through the Erlen filters. Jimmy, what advice would you give to a parent whose child has been diagnosed with this disorder? What would you tell them? Be patient, work with them. Um, it's not an overnight transition. Uh, it gets better as, as time goes longer. As Melissa said, if you have a su suspicion that your child has some kind of reading disorder or something, please get tested because growing up in the school district and going through school that way, it was difficult. It, and it doesn't have to be for, for our kids today. And I think it's important that parents you know, do what they can to help their kids get through this, this struggle. Melissa, it was such a pleasure meeting you today. And Jimmy, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. It was my pleasure. I just hope that somebody out there could benefit from it.